guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. Uh, we got another comparison video to do, and this one uh, we've had a lot of requests on. And it is going to be comparing the brand new Springfield XDS 45 ACP to the Car CW45. We actually went out today and we picked one up uh, to actually compare. So Ryan did purchase this gun. It's a brand spanking new. We will be doing videos on the CW45 and we also are going to be comparing it to the uh, CW92 because it's really similar in size and so look forward to those videos. Um, basically what we're going to be doing for a comparison today is talking about the features of each of the guns we're going to look at the size of the guns then we're going to talk about price uh, which is really important. Uh, let's go ahead and let's start with the Springfield XDS now this gun has close to 500 rounds through the gun as of today uh, Ryan and I have been to the range a couple times, did some long range shooting with it, and then we did some defensive shooting, um, shooting at about 7 to 21 feet at an indoor range, and we put almost 300 rounds through the gun just playing around and practicing our defensive stances and uh, drawing the pistol and seeing how well we could actually do, and we were very impressed. The guns had zero malfunctions, and it is very accurate for it being a little subcompact. So you guys can see it has a fiber optic front sight, you have three dot combat sights. Comes standard with two five round magazines. Um, basic operations as far as you have a simple takedown lever here on the side of the gun, slide release. No it's not ambidextrous, but it does have an ambidextrous magazine release here and here. Uh, other than that it does have a really nice bullet indicator that pops up and what's cool about that is Ruger has that same bullet indicator that pops up here, and it's huge. It's an eyesore. This one is so uh, small um, when it pops up that you really don't really notice it much. I really like that. What the gun relies on for its safety is it has a little beaver tail safety. It's very similar to what a 1911 would have. And then it has the little trigger safety similar to what a Glock has in other Springfields. Let's go and show you the trigger pull on the weapon. Now, you remember, you cannot fire this trigger unless the beaver tail is depressed. So with the beaver tail depressed, you got to push down there and you have a very little take up and a nice crisp clean break. Now the trigger is broken in really nice and uh, Ryan and I were actually talking about that today at the range going wow uh, we just really like this gun. Um, there's been a couple brand new guns out for the year, the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield the SIG 938 and then the Springfield XDS and uh, out of all of them the Shield and the XDS are awesome. Uh, we didn't have too great a luck with the 938. It was a good gun. It didn't malfunction at all for us, but we, could, we couldn't shoot it straight. This guy, we're able to hit the target no problem. Let's talk about the uh, Car CW45. Now, this is Car's bargain guns. Uh, this is CW. Uh, they also have the PM45 uh, and stuff that's a lot smaller than this with a really rounded slide and stuff for conceal, you know, for carrying in your pocket and stuff. And we may be able to get one of those in the future. It all depends on if we can find one and how good the price is because cars can jump in price to seven and a half, almost $800. Now with the bargain cars like the CW45, we've seen these guys go uh, anywhere between price at 320 um, all the way up to 420 So all depends on where you're shopping and we'll talk about that in here in a little bit. Gun comes with one six round magazine. It's got six plus one so it's got one more round than the XDS. Uh, nice nice combat sights but they are just a line in the rear and then the dot in the front. It is more than capable of being accurate though. Uh, other than that as far as features goes as you guys can see there's no safeties anywhere. There's no beaver tail safety, there's no side safety, thumb safety. It relies on a really long trigger pull. and We'll show you that here. Cars have one of the nicest triggers too, it's so smooth and then it breaks really crisp. So you have that really long pull and it breaks crisp. If you're going to carry it in your pocket, now this is a subcompact, if you're going to carry this in your pocket, it's recommended that you have some type of a holster that covers up that trigger so that way you are not engaging that trigger accidentally. Um, other than that, basic takedown, you know, you just pull this, um, the, uh, the slide release, very similar to a 1911, weapon comes apart. And then it's just like every other subcompact or you know auto out there, same as the XDS too. Um, let's do a real quick size comparison, guys. Now the size is going to be a little bit different on these because remember the mag capacity is different. So let's go ahead and show you um, 
we'll do slide length first. Let's hold these guys up. And there we go. You guys can see they're almost identical. The car is just maybe a hair longer. And in the width category, they are identical. They're 1.01 inches both. So the main difference is going to be that extra capacity, that one bullet capacity. And we'll show you that here. And there you go. That's the difference in the slide. Now, if you'd like to have all of the rest of your fingers on the grip, you're going to want to go with the car. If you want, uh, I mean, if you're okay getting away with just the two fingers, your uh, ring finger, your middle finger, then you want to go with the XDS. Now, at some point, I know that Sprinkle is going to bring, be bringing out an extension, or Pierce Grips will be bringing out an extension for the XDS. But as of right now, that's all you get. <laughs> so it all depends on what you're comfortable with. And actually, to be honest with you, even with just the two fingers on there, the XDS is more than manageable for recoil. And I'm sure having all three fingers on the uh, CW45 is actually be very beneficial. Now, I know you guys are going to go, where the hell is the weight? What's the weight difference between these two? And you guys know we don't like to give you the weight of the guns loaded. And I'm sure you've heard our excuse that our scale's been broken. I have ordered a scale. Uh, I actually ordered it through Amazon because I couldn't find one in our area that actually would fit the guns. It will be here, hopefully by the end of the week. If not, it will be here at the beginning of next week. And we will do an entire series, just the XDS, comparing it to every loaded gun that we have. And that way you guys know. And... Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll show you that, including the car uh, CW45. So, again, hitting on price, we talked about the price a little bit with the CW45, $320 to $420. Do not spend over $400 for this gun. This gun has been out. You can easily find it for $360, $370. I know on sale at Cabela's they'll have it for $370, but I've seen Sportsman's Warehouse have this same gun for $329. And uh, that's a screaming deal for what you're getting in this weapon. And uh, I think if you guys can get a chance and you find it for that price, you can't beat it. Now, the XDS is going to be over $100 more. We paid $502, and that was, I think, a good deal on this gun. A lot of times you're going to find this gun. I'm sure at Cabela's they're going to be charging you a full price of $550 or more for this weapon. And uh, good luck finding it. Um, they're really hard to get right now. They, I know they have been shipped to distributors, and uh, it's going to be a tough gun to, to get a hold of for a while until things start, um, you know, picking up. They start ramping up their production, and they get a really good response from consumers. Then you'll start to see them more. But until that time, five hundred bucks. I think that's that's probably the best price I'm going to see. If you see anything less than that, pick it up right away. That's a great deal. But Remember, you're getting two magazines with the XDS, which is nice. You only get one with the car, and if you want a second mag, you're looking in the $30 to $40 range or more. You get a little cardboard box when you get the car. You get a really nice carrying case when you get the XDS. Plus, they give you a hip holster. They also give you a magazine holster. Uh, they give you replacement fiber optic sights. They give you all kinds of stuff. So that's really, really cool for the XDS, to be, to, um, and especially for Springfield. Even if you don't use that stuff, it's nice to have it. So for that extra $100 and $150, somewhere around there, you're getting that extra mag, and you're getting additional accessories. Uh, if you don't really care about that stuff, I'd say, guys, go with the, go with the car. Fantastic gun. I know my CW9 is one of my favorite guns. And uh, I, I almost told Ryan, I think I mean, he's going to be pretty convinced once he shoots the CW45. Uh, this may be a great carry gun as well. Um, so, guys, if you have any questions regarding the Springfield XDS, uh, you want to see more, you want to see it shooting at the range, check out our channel. We have got tons of videos on there. We will have a review uh, that will be coming up soon. Um, actually, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have a review up. If you want to know more about the CW45, stick with our channel. We're going to be doing some testing with it. We're going to be doing some gun comparisons to see how it compares to the other weapons and uh, do some definitely shooting tests and then a review. And that way you guys can make up your mind if you think it's a great buy. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This is Chad from CNR Reviews. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.